This video tutorial is intended for informational purposes only. If you attempt to reproduce or perform anything that I have depicted in this video, you are doing so at your own risk. I am not responsible for any damages, either personal or to your property, that may result from performing any of these procedures and modifications. When the Game Boy Color was released back in 1998, it came with a reflective TFT LCD screen built in. This means that the display is illuminated by the environmental light around you, which passes through the glass and bounces off a reflector. This wasn't necessarily a downside way back then, because none of us knew any different. But time went on, and more superior handheld devices came along, with fancy backlit screens. Then someone came along and modernized the Game Boy Color, rejuvenating the 20-year-old handheld by installing a backlit display inside it. Thus, the GBC-101 mod was born. The GBC-101 mod utilizes the AGS-101 display out of the second generation Game Boy Advance SP, paired with a custom manufactured adapter ribbon. The mod proved to be a solid addition to the Game Boy Color for quite a while, and underwent several revisions. However, installing it can be relatively convoluted and time-consuming, sometimes taking hours of painstaking soldering and case modding to complete. So with dreams of creating an easier and less costly Game Boy Color backlight mod, the GBC-101's inventor went back to work and came up with something that will revolutionize the Game Boy Color forever. Hey everyone, I'm Kyle, and today is a very big day. I'm very pleased to finally be able to introduce you to Ben Venn's GBC-101 replacement kit, the Freckle Shack. This kit is comprised of a square backlit LCD and a custom-made circuit board, together designed to easily fit inside of a Game Boy Color with minimal modification. Installing the Freckle Shack kit into a Game Boy Color can take less than 15 minutes to complete. And, unlike the GBC-101 mod before it, there is absolutely no soldering required to make this kit work with the Game Boy Color hardware. The end result is a gorgeous backlit console, with a crisp and clear image on screen and superior viewing angles. Benven has been working on making this project happen for quite a while now, and he's received a lot of feedback from many people saying that installing the AGS-101 screen inside of the Game Boy Color is still a bit too complicated. And thus, Despite mine and others' concise video guides showing how to do it, many people who are less experienced with electronics have still been deterred by the degree of difficulty present with the GBC-101 mod. To add insult to injury, the Chinese reproductions of the AGS-101 display required for the GBC-101 mod are becoming harder to find, with supplies dwindling worldwide and prices spiking for the ones still available. That is precisely why Ben has created the Freckle Shack. He's found a display that is both high quality and plentiful, with no end of supply in sight. Furthermore, he's eliminated much of the work that used to be required for backlighting the Game Boy Color, so much so that now only a small handful of tools are required now for completing the mod. To pick up a Freckle Shack kit of your own, follow the link in the description below to go to the Benven store page. Now, installing this display kit into the Game Boy Color does have a few prerequisites, albeit far fewer than that of its predecessor. So let's jump right in, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to install the Freckle Shack into the Game Boy Color. Before we begin, make sure you have the following hardware. A Benven Freckle Shack kit, which includes the PCB and attached ribbon cable, a square LCD, and two 3D printed spacers a fully working Game Boy Color as a donor system, and if you're not using the original Game Boy Color shell, an aftermarket shell. I'll be using this white one. And finally, a Jelly Belly Customs glass Game Boy Color screen lens to give our handheld a nice finish. Jelly Belly Customs is a console modding outfit based in the United Kingdom, and they make the official custom screen lens for the Benven Freckle Shack. 
This lens is made out of a high quality glass and has a perfectly sized window for the image on the kit's display. There are many different designs to choose from, so click on the link in the description below to go to the Jelly Belly Customs online store page, where you can pick up a lens of your own. Here are the tools you'll need for the Freckle Shack installation process. A pair of tin snips, an X-Acto knife or craft knife, a tri-wing screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a small roll of Captain tape or electrical tape for insulating components, and a pair of scissors. For this tutorial, I'll be using the screwdriver set in my iFixit toolkit, which has the necessary Phillips and tri-wing bits that we need. I also recommend having a pair of safety glasses to wear for a small portion of this tutorial. This will make more sense later on. Time for the tutorial. Let's begin. Remove the battery panel from your Game Boy Color, and then use your tri-wing screwdriver to remove all six screws on the back of the handheld's outer shell. This will release the back of the shell. Remove it and set it aside. Now use your Phillips screwdriver to remove the three screws that secure the main board to the front of the shell. With all of the screws removed, carefully unlatch both sides of the clip holding the LCD ribbon to the main board to disconnect it. Remove the housing from the board and set it aside. Our first major step for installing the freckle shack is to trim the cart slot pins here. This will make room for the new PCB to sit nearly flush against the main board as shown here. There will be some stray metal fragments when you do this, so put on your safety glasses and use your tin snips to trim both rows of pins shown here. You need to trim them as close to the base of their solder contacts as you can. Next, use a small strip of Captain tape or electrical tape to insulate the cart slot pins that you just trimmed. There's a second location that you also need to insulate with tape, which I'll be covering very shortly. For now, take a moment to clean your workspace of any debris that we created from the pins that we just trimmed. Now take the shell you'll be using to house your build, remove the screen lens that came with it, and set the lens aside since we won't be using it. Also set aside the back of the shell for this next part. Our second major step in this mod is to remove this bottom piece of plastic from the LCD bracket on the front of the shell. Do not remove the entire bracket since we need the rest of it for holding the new LCD in place. Here I've highlighted in red the only piece you need to remove. Use your knife to cut down into either side of this part of the bracket. Just one solid cut down to the base on each side is all you need. Now use your knife to score the base of this piece on both sides several times. Once that's done, the plastic piece should easily break away from the rest of the housing. Let's test fit the LCD into place. For this part, Use the two 3D printed spacers included with the Freckle Shack kit to hold the display in the correct position. The spacers will go in the parts shown in red, the thicker one goes on the left side, and the skinny one on the right. This will center the LCD in the viewing window. 
Before installing the LCD, be sure to remove the protective film covering it, and make sure it is dust free. Now place the LCD face down back into the display bracket and position it so that the ribbon is at the bottom and the top of the LCD is touching the top of the bracket. With the LCD in place, insert the 3D printed spacers on either side of it, the thick one on the left and the skinny one on the right. If done correctly, it should be a perfectly snug fit. Next, connect the LCD ribbon to this connector on the PCB and secure the latch. Be very gentle. It is critical that you do not rush this. Otherwise, you risk damaging the LCD ribbon cable or the socket on the PCB. If done correctly, the first line on this part of the ribbon will be barely visible. Then carefully turn over the PCB and lay it inside of the bracket, which it should now fit into, and install the buttons, pads, power switch, and IR shield into the front of the shell. It's now time to install the main board into the shell. Lay it tape side down and connect the Freckle Shacks ribbon cable to the board, remembering to secure both sides of the latch on the ribbon connector when you're done. Before we close everything up, add a small piece of tape over these contacts on the back of the Freckle Shack PCB to insulate them. Now it's time to screw it all together. Flip around the main board so that it is sitting flush against the front housing again, making sure that the Freckle Shack PCB stays inside of the bracket. Then install the three Phillips screws that connect the main board to the front of the shell. Next, install the back of the shell and make sure everything closes up with no gaps or spaces. If everything looks good, then install the six tri-wing screws into the back of the shell, cross-tightening as you go so that the shell seals evenly all the way around. So far so good, it's really starting to look like a Game Boy again. Let's test it quick with some AA batteries. If you've managed to get this far without problems, great job! If not though, make sure you're using fresh AA batteries, and if necessary, open up the console again to double check your connections and insulation points. Time to test fit the Jelly Belly Custom screen lens and make sure your LCD is properly aligned. Use your knife or your fingernail to carefully peel away the paper over the center square viewing area, taking care to not scratch the design on the lens. For now, we'll leave the paper covering the adhesive in place. Place the new lens on the front of your Game Boy Color's shell, and power on the system again to make sure the new display is aligned with the viewing window on the lens. If all goes well, it's time to install the lens for real. Use your knife or fingernail again to carefully remove the paper over the adhesive strip on your lens. Make sure the LCD and the inside of the lens are dust free, and then gently press the lens onto your Game Boy Color's shell, applying light pressure around the frame to adhere it to the plastic. 
Remember that you can only do this part once, since attempting to remove the lens and reapply it can damage the design on it. For the finishing touches, install the battery cover if you haven't already. Then, if you're using an aftermarket shell, apply the Game Boy Color model sticker that came with it to the back of the handheld. Congratulations! You now have a factory quality backlit Game Boy Color. I've just gotta say, this custom screen lens really finishes off the mod nicely and makes it feel complete. The Freckle Shack kit is everything for the Game Boy Color that the GBC 101 mod before it was intended to be. The craftsmanship of this kit is profound. It is extremely sturdy and very well built, and it's also incredibly easy to install. I, for one, know that I'm very happy with my build results. For beginners and enthusiasts alike, there has never been a better time to mod the Game Boy Color. So consider picking up both the Freckle Shack and a custom screen lens for your own custom build. Like me, I think you'll be quite impressed at how easy this whole process is. If you liked this video, please click the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching everyone. You all stay awesome, and I'll see you in my next video.